Sam, I got to say, these apple tree boards, man, they look so good. I mean, they have got to be one of the most appealing boards to the wingers at this point because of how light these things are and how beautiful they, they look. I mean, what's, what's the deal with apple tree? Why is there such a cult following all of a sudden going on with this brand? Yeah, well, they're definitely gorgeous. That's step number one. Um, but it's a great product besides just the looks. Um, cause you know, you gotta look past the looks at some point, um, beyond the looks. So this is my personal board. As you can see, it's got some serious love and affection to it here. Um, I love the, I love the apple tree boards, um, for a number of reasons, durability, um, how connected you feel to the foil. And that's going to, that's a similar trend throughout. I think the industry as a whole right now, everyone's like really hunting for that super connected feel. Um, a lot of people have a good shape, but that really dialed construction and that unique feel that apple tree gives is, is pretty awesome. Um, I attribute it to the way they construct their boards. Um, they use a 50 K closed cell foam, which if you want to get a little nerdy on that, I, uh, Viger who does a, who is one of the co-founders for apple tree does a tech talk on it link it in the description below. Um, but it's basically a super dense foam and allows them to have a really stiff board. True that. I mean, when you receive one of these things, when they come to big wins, check out how they're packed. They actually pack it around the blank. And there's a, an example of that foam right there, right? Yeah. It's just super dense and closed cells. So there's no air in it. Hence why there's probably no vent plug, right? Yeah, no vent plug. Um, you don't have to worry about, you know, your board expanding in the cold or in the heat or flying with it. You know, you don't have to worry about anything like that. I mean, so that closed cell foam is also, if, if you're a guy like me that, like I said, you know, it's a lot of love and affection on this board, you know, accidents happen. Um, and uh, you can get a crack in it here this actually happened when I was on a trip and just um, haven't quite gotten around to fix it yet. Um, but that's okay with an apple tree board because it doesn't, in, doesn't take on any water. So you don't have to worry about any long-term damage from getting water in your board, no D lambs, no soft spots. Um, so while you should fix it at some point, if you're traveling and an airline dings your board or you ding it when you're traveling, it's, it's really not an issue at all toss in the water, enjoy your trip. When you get home and you have some time, then get about repairing it. And no time off the water. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's pretty cool. What um, else is unique about this? I know that these kind of, you know, are custom built for us for another reason, right? And that being the tracks are positioned two inches further forward. Yes. So the tracks are positioned two inches farther forward um, on these apple tree boards. Um, they move them far farther forward for us to be able to accommodate stuff like lift and Armstrong and just smaller HA foils in general. The other thing I think super cool about Apple Tree um, is the shaping of them. I've had a lot, some feedback from customers that have transitioned to an Apple Tree from a different board. And the feedback was like, wow, like I can ride the same size. They go, they typically don't downsize. They just ride the same size board and they're like so much more agile. I feel everything so much more. It takes off from the water really quickly. Um, so it's almost like you're, you know, you're not losing any sort of ease of use, but you're gaining a lot of performance. Awesome. Yeah. They're super light. So probably very minimal swing, swing weight when you're talking swing weight and turns, huh? Yeah. Yeah. It, they got a little concaving in the deck. Um, a super comfy deck pad, a really cool brand in general. It's just one of those brands that, you know, you, you start to hear about and you hear the backstory and everything they're about. And you're like, wow, I can, I can get behind that for sure. Yeah. They make awesome kite surf boards too, that we carry here. Yeah. Yeah. Well done Viger and the team at Apple tree. Um, the new factory over in Portugal, they keep cranking out very impressive shapes, very impressive, um, constructions as well. And we're super stoked on the Apple Slice V2 for 2023. We got them here in stock. Come on by, grab one for yourself. If you haven't tried one, you got to try these. It's, it's an impressive board to say the least.